Hey, I'm Laura, and I'm here to tell you about hydrofracking and why it's terrible. They say time is money. Well, I've got one of those. People hear and don't listen, but we can do them both. Pay attention for a minute, then maybe you'll be sold. Hydrofracking. Four syllables, poison to hear, but what does it mean sounds kind of vague or unclear. How does it work, and why is it bad? Why are so many people fuming fracking mad? Hydraulic fracturing. Specifics differ depending on the type of rock, but you're going to need a well. Dig and send a pipe into the ground more than 6,000 feet down and run it horizontally for over a mile. Mix in some sand with additive chemicals and millions of gallons of water. Pump it all deep, pressure cracking the shale, letting the gas flow back up and out of the well, and bam! That's a rocky gist of it for you. Well, frack is whack, and we're on the wrong track. In terms of energy, different by default does not equal better. It's great that hydraulic crashing doesn't rhyme with oil or coal, but that in itself doesn't mean we're achieving any real goal, because in terms of air pollution, it's worse than coal. Property owners misled. The process changing the biodiversity of surrounding areas. Animals getting sick, losing their fur. People, your mother getting sick, and legislators. Please learn the stories of those suffering. See the families, not masses. Don't go stripping humanity's face so at the ballot you can cast your vote without disgrace because after all, you don't have to meet the gaze of those you ostracize if you deprive them of eyes. Additives contaminating our groundwater, drinking water, water from our kitchen sink, faucet catching on fire when a match is lit. I thought water was supposed to put out fire. Oops. Many places in our world don't have access to clean water. Let's not frack ours up, but rather assess this situation, not devote money towards expanding hydrofracking, spreading invisible poison into the pipes of our homes. If that's not breaking and entering, then tell me what is, because it's entering our bodies and breaking them down, and the shale is sure as hell cracking. Can you hear me? And if you can, are you listening? There's only so much I can say before my throat runs dry, and if I can't fix that with water, then what? We need to be putting our money towards developing clean, renewable energy. We need a national ban on hydrofracking. No. Frack no. Hydrofracking has got to go. I said no. Say no. Hydrofracking has got to go. I heard this once and I'll say it again. This movement isn't just climate, it's about liberation. Freedom to breathe clean air and water to drink. Frack y'all tell me what the Lorax would think.